Here we're going to take a look at some essential functions for a class in algebra. So as you start the year, it's a really good idea to be familiar with, I'd say at least these eight, there are probably a couple more you could add in. In this video, we're just going to get an overview. If you want more details about each of these individual functions and their characteristics, check out those videos as well. All right, let's get started. So the identity function y equals x. We're all familiar with this linear function. I like to nickname it the slide. Um, you can imagine we're sliding down. And of course you can make a t-table for this, but right now we just wanna have an idea of what do these look like? If you're given the equation y equals x, or if someone says the identity function, you wanna know it looks like this slide through the origin. All right, absolute value. A common nickname you'll hear is the v because it takes whatever number you put in and it makes it positive. So you just have y values that are positive, thus a v. All right, the square function, y equals x squared, the u, they look like letters, but you take each number and you square it. So you end up with a u looking shape. The square root, y equals the square root of x, looks like a shooting star. So you start from zero, zero, because you can't take the square root of any negative numbers. So your first input is here at zero, zero, and then you just apply the square root. And so it kind of shoots off to the right there, thus shooting star. All right, so cube and cube root are very much related. People tend to get these confused. Um, we'll look at cube first. It's the vertical snake. So you just take your inputs and you're cubing them or say X is one, one times one times one. Now, an easy way to remember that this is the vertical snake is to think of what happens when you plug in two. So you have two cubed, which is eight. And so thus, you know, you have a point, it's way up here on this graph. You could do the same thing with negative two, negative two cubed is negative eight. And so even though you have these points, negative one, negative one, zero, zero, and one, one, and you may be thinking, ooh, wait, is this the vertical snake or the sideways snake? Well, that little trick will help you remember that x cubed is vertical snake. All right, so cube root. You end up with the same points as the cube if you look just at the three closest to the origin. So you have negative one, negative one, zero, zero, and one, one. And this is called the sideways snake. An easy way to see this is to just find the next integer points. So think of x being eight here. If you take the cube root of eight, well, we know the cube root of eight is two. So we have a point that's kind of far off this way. And you'd have a similar point if you took the cube root of negative eight, kind of way out here. And that helps you remember this is the sideways snake. All right, finally, we'll look at reciprocal and square of the reciprocal. So first reciprocal, y equals one over x. I like to call this one butterfly. It's a stretch at first. If you look at it, you may be thinking, well, where's the butterfly? You have to have a little imagination, um, but you could kind of just, this is just to remember it. See the wings there. You could draw the butterfly. You could draw a little happy face if you have room, um, but you can kind of see. It's a general shape of a butterfly. Another good tip, remember that the curves fall in quadrants one and three. Um, and do note, it's hard to see in this picture, but I'll go into it more in a later video. There are asymptotes at the y-axis and the x-axis. So more on that in a later video. All right, and finally, the square of the reciprocal, y equals one over x squared. So. Again, for any of these, you could have made a t-table, so just plug in some x's, see what y's are the outputs. Um, but if you're just trying to remember the general shape, you should see that this one has only positive y values, and it has curves that fall in quadrants one and two. It has those asymptotes, just like the reciprocal to the left of this one did, but this one's not as hard to imagine. You can kind of see the volcano here. You could draw some fire lava coming out um, and you have your volcano. So this is just a quick look, get familiar with these, really be able to picture them. If someone, if your teacher, a friend says the equation or says the name of the function, 
have a good visual image and you'll be well on your way.